Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Mattis and Tarpio, and today I'm going to share with you all my predictions for the D23 Expo Disney Parks panel. Let's do this. First, we will start with the fact that Disneyland is going to be a major part of this panel. As you can see, they're going to release a special coin showing the Disneyland 70th anniversary for D23 Day. We're getting some really big news for Disneyland. I think an opening date for Tiana's Bayou Adventure at Disneyland is pretty much a guarantee, so stay tuned for that when that comes out. The opening date for Tiana's Bayou Adventure as well as the opening of the rest of Critter Country will probably mark the beginning of the 70th anniversary celebration at Disneyland. I think that the rumor of a new bride in the Haunted Mansion is also true. I think they will make it like the original Heartbeat Bride that used to be in the mansion back in the day. This was actually filmed at the last D23 Expo. And this was very similar to what they did with the Hatbox Ghost. They started making him known at D23 Expo before officially announcing his return. So stay tuned on this as well. Now the last really big rumor going around that I really hope is true is that for Disneyland's 70th anniversary in Great Moments of Mr. Lincoln, which is currently getting a $5 million rehaul, they are going to add a Walt Disney animatronic that will introduce the show of Great Moments of Mr. Lincoln. If they do this, I don't even know how I'll react. That would be one of the greatest things that Disney ever did. I really hope they do this one. In the link in the description, I put a video of Walt talking about the great moments of Mr. Lincoln that I think would be perfect for them to use the audio of for the animatronic if they ever choose to make it. So amazing. Then for Disney's California Adventure, we will finally get more details on the Avengers e-ticket ride that is supposed to be in Avengers Campus. I'm hoping they still keep the King Thanos multiverse idea that they presented last time because that sounded really, really cool. But we'll see what happens this year. The last major news that I'm expecting to get for the Disneyland Resort is the fact that they teased an Avatar expansion for Disney's California Adventure. Now I'm assuming this is going where the Hollywood Land area currently is, where Monsters Inc. the ride currently is. This is going to be absolutely insane. I can't wait to learn more about this potential land coming to California Adventure. Now, moving on to Walt Disney World, I think the biggest announcement for that at the panel will be behind Big Thunder Mountain and what lands specifically they have planned. I think the Villains Land will be officially announced. I think that's something we will definitely get at this year's D23 Expo. Really exciting. I think another thing we are going to learn about at D23 is the Pirates of the Caribbean themed tavern that they are planning to make next to the pirate ride at Disney's Magic Kingdom. Also, permits by Disney show that they are currently working on a Moana themed attraction. So we'll probably get an official announcement of this at D23 Expo as well. And this will probably go in Disney's Magic Kingdom somewhere. That's what I'm assuming at least. Now moving on to Epcot, something that I definitely think will be talked about is the new version of Test Track. They are actually working on this new version already, but we don't know that much details yet. So I definitely think we will learn a lot about it at this year's D23. A major project that I hope gets restarted is the Mary Poppins attraction that was supposed to be in the UK pavilion at Epcot. Disney kind of silently cancelled this ride for Epcot, but I'm hoping that at this year's D23 Expo, they announce that they are going to actually end up building it. I'm so excited, hopefully they do this. And the last major thing that I want Disney to announce for Epcot is what they are doing with the former Wonders of Life pavilion building. For a while they were thinking about doing something called the Play Pavilion, but that has since been scrapped pretty much. So I'm hoping they do something like an Inside Out Pavilion, that would be absolutely amazing. Please do it, I hope we see it. Moving on to Disney's Animal Kingdom, I definitely think we will get more details on the Tropical Americas land that is supposed to be built there soon. We will definitely get more details on the Encanto ride and what the story is about, as well as the new Indiana Jones ride that they're making. I'm very, very, very interested to see what they say about this land. Also, I am very interested to learn about the new Zootopia show that is going to be in the Tree of Life and replacing It's Tough to Be a Bug. I'm very interested to learn the details and I think this show will be really, really cool when they add it. Moving on to Disneyland Paris, I definitely think we will learn more details on the former Walt Disney Studio Park, where it's now called Disney Adventure World at Disneyland Paris. We will learn more about the Frozen Land that is being added there next year, as well as whether they are doing Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, or if they're doing a new land, maybe Lion King as the rumors say. We'll find out hopefully at D23 next week. Also, we might learn some more details on the new Tangled ride that is also being added to Disney Adventure World. 
Very interesting. Now, moving on to Tokyo Disneyland, they actually just closed their original Space Mountain. And as you can see in the concept art, they are actually going to build a new Space Mountain on top of it. There was a trademark filed by Tokyo Disneyland recently for a name Space Mountain Earthrise. This might very well be the name when they officially announced it at D23 Expo this week. How exciting. Also, Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters is going to permanently close on October 31st, 2024, and they are going to replace it with a new Wreck-It Ralph attraction. We will probably learn more details on this new attraction at this year's D23 Expo. Moving on to Hong Kong Disneyland, they are also supposedly going to get another version of the Avengers ride coming to Disney's California Adventure, and supposedly it will be replacing the Autopia that is currently there. Very interesting to see if this will happen. Moving on to Shanghai Disneyland, there was recently a permit filed for a dual roller coaster next to Zootopia Land, and this has been heavily rumored to be a Spider Man themed roller coaster. Hopefully, we will get confirmation of this at this year's D23 Expo. Moving on to Disney Cruise Line, we will probably get more details of the Disney Adventure coming out in 2025, and it's going to sail from Singapore. Very exciting. Also, Disney and the Oriental Land Company, who owns Tokyo Disneyland, made a deal to make their own cruise ship sailing from Tokyo. This is very exciting, because Tokyo Disneyland is one of the best Disney parks in the world. So imagine their cruise ship. This is really exciting news, and I hope to learn more about this. And that wraps up my list of predictions for this D23 Expo this year. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe with that middle button if you haven't already. And check out the two videos you see on your screen if you haven't already. Okay, goodbye everyone.